I guess Donald's house is technically more important than, uh, than some of the other stuff, but still. Uh, let's go up to the Forest of Valor again. Wait, is that where I want to go? The Forest of Valor? No, I wanted to go down to the beach for seaweed. That was the plan. I don't see any seaweed just laying about, so we're going to have to fish for it. I need lots of seaweed, Goofy. You're here to provide. You're here to provide double seaweed, and that's it. Well, that's not seaweed. And you gave me a second one. Great. Actually, you know what? I only get seaweed if I do in the ponds. Let's go to the ponds. I don't need the fish. I need seaweed. Oh, well, I take it back. Apparently, what I said wasn't true. Donald's going through it. Okay. I <laughs> the seaweed thing has suddenly become a problem for no reason. Could use a few more sleds around here. I don't I I don't know what you're trying to imply, sir. But I don't have sleds to give you. And he didn't give me a second one because he hates me. Thank goodness. I don't think I have food. I can bring Goofy with me while I go home. I really lucked out. My neighbors are great. Yeah, they are. start making decisions here how many rope do I need I need seven okay it's six nine I need no hang on I'm dumb I uh, four okay we need 11 rope all together and we already have one so we need 10 more I can only make three right now. So we still have a lot more seaweed to catch. Alright. Oh, uh, one more thing. Hey, okay, one more thing from my house.
Loneliness is cold. My mind is numb with solitude. My thoughts are sluggish and dull. I think I could warm myself if I could talk to someone, but there's no one here. While he's asleep, Kristoff is on the beach. Hello. I have something to give you. Yeah. Ha. Nice. His last thing is uh, onion puffs, and I wonder if I can get that with just onion and wheat. Or if that would... Oh, we don't even have onion, right? We have garlic. Have a good evening. Good evening. Let's see how far that got us. How you doing, Mika? Donald? You got off work early. Holy moly. That's awful lucky, isn't it? Uh, Goofy? Fiber? Perfect. Okay. On. Um... Hey there. Let's hang out later. So long. Let's go see if um. Oh, Goofy, come to your stall so I can uh sell you things. Hi 
there, pal. So. Thanks a lot. Works for me. And then um it's hard to see in all the trees over here. Oh, that's not hardwood. Wally went to sleep, so we probably won't see him for the rest of the night. Which is sad, because he wanted an emerald. And I didn't have one before. Or the ones I did have, I had to do things with. I wonder how long Wally sleeps. He's a robot. He doesn't need to sleep, right? Wally is sleeping. Hmm. He'll probably- if he's like Mickey, he'll sleep for, like, ever. Alright. Pick up the hardwood. supposed to be doing for Ursula? Place Ursula's house in the water. Okay. Wonder how much money that cost. Here's some hardwood. How do we get clay? I'm gonna go ask Goofy about clay because I don't remember what he said. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh. Good night, DC. Good to see you. Howdy, pal. What do mm -hmm. I need? Oh, okay. Well, that Good was boy. useless. Thanks, Goofy. All right. Um, can I make clay, or do I just dig up clay? Interesting. Okay. 
All right, let's go ahead and bring the repair kit to Donald. Oh, he's still mad about the boat. My goodness, so long. Listen, I had to. Oh, <laughs> there were so many things I had to do. My goodness, so long. Oh, for the love of everything, I just walked inside again. Please let me leave. Listen, I don't mean to... You're standing in a really inconvenient spot, Donald. Oh my goodness. How about you come inside? How about that? Donald? Why do you keep falling over? What's happening? Donald, please. Hydrate? Hell yeah. We'll, we'll watch him throw a tantrum and I'll drink some water. Mm -hmm. Are you done? Can I talk to you now? You're standing in the worst place ever. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. It's okay. It's fine. We're good. It's fine. Everything's okay. Please move! Thank goodness. I need to talk to you. Oh boy, we got all the tools. Now we just need somebody to fix the boat. What should we do? If we go to the sign outside my house, maybe Uncle Scrooge will fix it. You wanna ask your uncle for another favor? Great idea! McDuck construction to the rescue. Sounds good to me. Come on, let's go to the sign outside my house. Man, this sign wasn't here a few minutes ago. Let's see how much this is gonna cost me. My nephew wants me to fix his house for free. What's next? Does he want me to live in it for him too? Live in it? Like you and Donald as roommates? That could be fun! Don't be ridiculous. Where would I store my treasures on a houseboat that small? Fine, I'll fix the house for Donald, but after this, he won't get a penny from me. And you and Donald will have to take care of the mess inside. That's a right catastrophe in there. I'm not running a cleaning service, too. Hmm, at least not yet. Could be a profitable venture down the line. Alright, I'll help Donald clean up inside. Thanks, Mr. McDuck. Bye -bye. There you go. Thanks for helping me. You're a great friend. And when I find out who made that mess, I'm gonna give them a piece of my mind. Wait, what's this piece of junk? I think it's a time capsule. Really? It just looks like a funny jar to me. Hey, it says something on the side in my handwriting. Time capsule, property of Donald Duck. If you are not Donald Duck, do not open. Hey, you're Donald Duck. Go ahead and open it. Oh boy, I can't wait to see what's inside. Grr, I can't get it unscrewed. Here, you try it. Release me. Donald? Oh, now I remember. Before the forgetting, I did all the planning for the village. I came up with lots of super genius special projects. You've, you'd be great at that. You've got a big imagination. You bet I do, and it's fun to think of stuff to help the village. Before the forgetting, I was planning something big, something huge, something stupendous. But then the night thorns started to show up everywhere and I forgot it all. 
I hid everything I needed to make my ideas in time capsules all over the village. But now I don't remember where I hid them or what I was trying to build. I gotta find more of them. Thanks for all your help, Kizzy. Anytime, Donald. Aw. Ooh, we got a blue backpack now. Hell yeah. Thank you for stopping by. How's your day going? Why do bad things always happen to me? Look at all the good things around you, such as... Your friends. Oh, you're right. My friends are pretty stupendous. Oh, boy. I was stuck, but I fixed it. What is Donald? That's not Donald. Uh, seafood appetizer, squid, and Snow White's gooseberry pie. All right, well. Iron ingot. I don't just have iron ingots to give to people, Mr. McDuck. Oh. Okay, everyone's too complicated. Onion puffs. We don't have onions, right? Onions aren't available to us. Are there onions? There's leeks. Leeks are kind of like onions. I just gave my last leek to Kristoff. Did I plant leeks? <laughs> I need to I need to follow a quest that's not that. Inverse investigate the cursed tree. I, I forgot that I was doing that to be honest. Clay, hardwood. I still don't have hardwood. I guess because I used some for uh, Donald's thing. I wonder how long Wally sleeps. I want to give him his emerald. Uh, investigate the thing in the Glade of Trust. Let's do that. I'm sure that won't take that long. I also need to figure out about Ursula's house. <laughs> Ursula's lair. Let's go take a look at that first. That's... I'm right next to the ocean. Does she want to live near Donald? They can be neighbors. Am I going to be able to reach that? Probably not, right? Hope Goofy's okay. I don't like that. Mother Gothel. Hello. Finally, someone has managed to open the door to my prison and free me from. Uh. <gasps> it's you. Have we met before? Uh. Why, 
You look just like... Mm -hmm. No, my mistake. It must be your dreadfully ordinary face. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Don't take everything so seriously. I'm very happy to see you. The ruler locks you up in here? Why? Oh. oh, fine, I'll admit it. I may have been fiddling with a tiny bit of dark magic. I was merely trying to concoct a curse that would keep someone locked away safe and sound. <laughs> After all, why bother with a secret tower when you can just use magic? That's... Uh, evil. Evil? Don't be so melodramatic, dear. Just because I meddle with dark magic, that doesn't mean I'm evil. Now I'll confess, the smell may have gotten a bit out of <sighs> hand. Some might even say it was threatening to destroy the whole valley. I suppose I don't know my own strength. Well, that's when our ruler decided to turn the spell back on me and lock, away lock me away in here. Now as much as I appreciate you freeing me, I'm afraid you've made a dreadful mistake. What do you mean? Mm. You see, just as I was trapped in here by my curse, <laughs> the curse was trapped in here with me. Now that you freed me, you've unleashed my dark magic on the whole village. Tsk, tsk. What a mess you've made. How do I fix it? Well, it won't be easy, but if we can restore the orb to the Pillar of Trust, it just might get rid of all the pesky dark magic. <laughs> and aren't you lucky? I happen to know where the orb is hidden. Will you tell me where it is? Yeah. Oh, I adore your manners, child. Since you're so polite, I'll tell you. It, I'll let you in on my little uh. secret. <laughs> to draw on the dark magic I needed to create my curse, I had to rip the p orb of trust out of the mm -hmm. pillar. Mm -hmm. Come quickly. Let's go to the pillar of trust. What are you waiting for? How could I? I know, right? I'm terrible. I already know where the orb is. It's across the chasm. I saw it. It was making a dum dum noise. See, that's it right over there. It's glowing so brightly. It's right there. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. <gasps> what Do you see pleasure. that floating island over there? That's where I tossed the Orb of Trust. You can try to get it back, but only if you know how to sprout wings. <laughs> the bridge to that island broke long ago. And one more word of warning about the Orb of Trust. You might be able to see it, but you won't be able to touch it. I cast a spell to try to hide it, but it worked a bit too well. It's between worlds now, like a dream, when you're on the verge of waking. What do you suggest? Go ask Merlin. He's always blathering on about his research. He might know something. And we're done talking about this. Shoo! Right. Shoo! I didn't want to talk to you anymore anyway. You shoot me away and now you're watching me fish. That's a little, uh, stupid. And now you're doing it again. This is embarrassing for you. This is very embarrassing for you. You like, you couldn't even stick to your word for like a second. Ooh, squid. Didn't someone want squid? Did I make that up? Donald, Donald wants squid. Gold well, pool. In before Donald's asleep. He's awake. Oh right, everyone's uh, got dark magic around them now. Can I get in here? Hmm. Seems rather inconvenient for me. Where's Merlin? Okay, but really, where's Merlin? Okay. Hi, 
Everyone's trapped in their houses. Confounded Ursula, I've had the spell, but I can't pro be the one who performs it. It must be you. Fine. Once again, I'll do all the work. Just remember, you brought me this spell. Your hands aren't clean of this, old man. Oh. Sketchy. I'm putting my trust in you, Ursula. Do not make me regret it. Uh, Merlin? Well, hello? Kizzy, so all this dark magic is Mother Gothel's doing, eh? I should have known. How do we fix all this? Splendid question. Most of the villagers are stuck in their houses by this blasted curse. Ursula and I were able to break free only because we cast some magic of our own to ward it off. To break this curse, we'll have to restore the Pillar of Trust, but that may come at a terrible what? cost. Eh. I know of a spell that could work, but it's dangerous. It demands sacrificing s sacrifices you may not be willing to make. The spell will take you to another place, somewhere between here and there, where the Orb of Trust was hidden. It's not easy to get to, and it's dangerous to get stuck there. What is the here and there? It's a place between worlds, made of pure <gasps> magic. And the here and there, the laws that govern our world don't apply. One may pass through things and see that things aren't- and see things that shouldn't be seen. One might even take a leap of faith and walk on air. But usually things or people that go to the here and there never come back to tell tales of what they've seen. Will I be able to come back? The, miller, the magic of the Pillar of Trust made whole again should be enough to summon you back to Dreamlight Valley. We'll just have to hope the Sea Witch can be trusted. What is the spell? One for which you'll need Ursula's help. I'm afraid this type of magic is not my specialty. I couldn't have done better myself. Oh god. Save me. Somebody save me from this nightmare. I can't control myself. Somebody wake me from this nightmare. I can't escape this. Hello, Ursula. Hello, dear. How typical. Once again, a bearded old geezer leaves all the dirty work to yours truly, and to you, apparently. Tell me, Kizzy, are you ready to do whatever it takes? Anything for Dreamlight Valley. Ha! Huh. We'll see about that. <laughs> now, dearie, some of us managed to break free of the dark magic running rampant in the village, but we'll need to give something up to free the others. Merlin gave me his trust. <laughs> Given our history, that was probably enough of a sacrifice. <laughs> As for me, I'm sacrificing my pride for the greater good. Marvelously noble of me, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That leaves Kristoff. He fought off the curse before it could lock him up. It's up to you to get something from him. The greatest sacrifice of all. His love. He must be willing to give up all his memories of his love, Anna, to save the village. That's awful. I can't. You have to. It's the only hope to save your friends. And we'll need a few ingredients to complete the spell. Make sure you bring back a few dream shards and night shards. Then you have... When you have all that, come to the cave where we first met. I'll do my magic on the spell there. Goodbye, dear. Okay. Kristoff? Oh, hey. Kizzy, what's going on? There's all this dark magic everywhere. I barely managed to fight it off. It's a curse that Mother Gothel whipped up. I need your help to break it. I'll do anything. Tell me what you need. I need you to agree to give up your love for Anna. All your memories of her. Hmm. What? That's crazy. Anna's everything to me. I'll never give up my memories of her. You'll get to fall in love with her all over again. I guess that's true. We'll have those warm, fluttery feelings again. The ones you get when you first fall in love. And this will help Anna too, right? Well, <sighs> if 
If it's the only way to save the valley, I'll do it. The love I have for Anna and her love for me will survive anything. I trust you to help me get my memories back. But for now, I'll give them up. I really appreciate it. Excellent. And I need five dark shards. Or night shards. Which I conveniently have inside my house. I only want five of them. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to move this chair. I hate this chair. I put it there because I thought it was funny, but now I don't. Oh. Oh, I need five to make an ingot. I thought I only needed four. Okay. To the cave where I first met Ursula. Oh my goodness, thank you for that follow. I really appreciate it. Welcome in. We're playing we're playing uh Disney Dreamlight Valley. We're going to meet the sea witch again. Ursula. Huh. Oh my goodness, Kinda hello, Kristoff. So many nice people here. You're here, finally! The boy accepted. Aren't you the persua persuasive one, Kizzy? I'm almost impressed. Now there's only one more sacrifice to be made. Yours. I need your magic. That's crazy, Ursula. How am I? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. Uh, I'll do yes. it. Ha, huh, good. Now that I have all the ingredients, I can work my magic. Travel to the here and there, recover the orb of trust, and fix the curse. And don't dilly-dally, dearie. Our fate is in your hands. Oh goodness, look at this craziness. Oh, okay. Okay. What? Okay. Let's see. This is what Minnie looks like. So is Minnie trapped in the here and there? Oh, wait. Uh. Wait, am I. I'm so. It's so hard to see. This is Ursula's house. I'm not gonna be able to get through the. Oh, I can! Oh, thank goodness. Poor Minnie. Yeah, Minnie. You can always kind of see her walking around the map. And she looks kind of like this. Let's see. Put the orb of trust back into the pillar. Excellent. Talk to Mother Gothel. Where is Mother Gothel? That went well, I know, right? I guess she's in her house.
Time to lock Mother Gothel away again. Wait, where is she? She's not here. I was lied to. Hello. And once again, you save the day, just like always. Have you been watching me? My, my. I thought you were pretending, but you really don't remember, do you? Well then, let me be the first to welcome you back. Back to the valley that was once your home. <laughs> you are our ruler, your majesty. Your majesty? That's right. You always were the rightful ruler of this valley. Long ago, you reigned over these lands. It was prosperous enough, I suppose, and you made a ridiculous number of friends. But then you started to change, and one day, poof, you disappeared without a trace. While you were gone, something evil started to grow and grow until it calls the forgetting. If you want to end the forgetting, you'll have to find a way to reach it and root it out. Keep exploring these lands, your majesty. Maybe you'll even find someone to help you with that. Yes! That's crazy. How much money do I have? Six thousand? Hmm. Where's Donald? Why is it daytime? It's not supposed to be daytime. Something weird's happening. Why why did a demon just talk to me? Did you guys hear that? Oh. Heck yeah. Why is there a demon talking to me? What is happening? What is that? It's up, it's from here. Do I have 7,000 magics? I don't. I don't like that. I don't like that. That's not okay. Wally's still sleeping. Um, okay. I need, first of all, I need to change the... We still need hardwood and clay. Uh, yeah, let's, let's, how much money do I have? I think I just said, right? Yeah, 6,000. Let's go to Ursula's house. It's raining. I really lucked hmm. out. My I wonder where my are rain great. boots are. It's, it's not raining, though. It's daytime. I'm still worried about that. Is it, Ursula's house is on the other side, isn't it? Yeah. We have to go around. <laughs> I can still hear the whispering and I just, it's making me really uncomfortable. Oh god. Alright, Ursula's house. Oh, 
Greetings, neighbor. Trust me, this is prime real estate. Certainly worth the investment. 10,000? Oh my goodness. <sighs> All right. We'll do some fishing. We'll we'll make some good stuff.